is Monday, uh, I guess the third week. In any case, it's the ninth day. This is the first video. Uh, welcome back. I hope uh, I hope you came back. Some of you came back. If any of you started are starting afresh with this video, well, that's okay. Uh, there was a prelude to the course uh, where we watched uh, Kenneth Branagh's ver uh, film version of, she of, uh, of Much Ado About Nothing. I hope you watched that. It's, it's good, but that could be considered a prelude. Now the course is actually going. On Friday, I had my students create a, uh, a title page, and I showed them uh, the set of notes that I would hope they would use, lined paper with three holes. Uh, well, uh, and another thing, right at the end of the uh, lesson on, on Friday, I mentioned this website, humanitynotes.webs.com, Josh, Joshua Wagner's website. Uh, it's wonderful. It's really uh, a wonderful piece of work. Uh, uh, something I didn't mention is he built into it a translator. So the, that set of notes, if somebody's watching there who only speaks German or only comfortably reads German or Portuguese or Spanish, uh, all you have to do is click on it and the notes uh, are translated into those languages. A uh, brave new world to me. Uh, uh, there's a Shakespearean quote. All right, uh, on the back of the title page, this shouldn't take very long, this video. On the back of the title page, I like the kids to make a copyright statement at least so they know that there is such a thing. And my understanding is all, all you have to do is do three things. And so I asked the kids to go halfway down the page and then write down the word copyright. That's one of the things. I don't think you have to have that C in a circle, but it's kind of cute. Uh, then you need to put somebody's name there. If you put my name, Frank Anselson, well then I would have the right to make copies of your notes. I would think you would put your own name there. And you have to have a year. Uh, 2011 uh, is this year. And that at least it shows the intent to copyright. Uh, and I like to have the kids do that. And from that point on, whenever I've photocopied notes or made copies of students' notes, I've always asked their permission to do it because I figured they hold the right for those copies. Uh, then uh, the other thing that's on the back of a title page usually is, is a, a statement about the publisher of that particular work. Well, I explained to the kids this will probably never be published at all. It's what it is is a handwritten manuscript, uh, uh, and uh, but uh, you know why a publisher puts that there is because if uh, you know they're in the business of making money, and if a school decide I'd like to buy a thousand copies of these, where could they find the publisher? Well, they put the publisher there. There is probably no publisher, so I have the students write down a handwritten a manuscript. Handwritten by uh, a, a name, your name, whoever's writing this, and an address. I spelled that wrong. There should be two D's there. I thought about that. Um, you could put an address if you wanted to. That looks better. Uh, you could put an address if you wanted to, but you don't have to. Phone number. A lot of times kids are a little careful with their phone numbers, as they maybe should be. You don't have to. But I point out that if these notes were lost somewhere, you know, not, not within the school, but somewhere in another town or something, if you had that, they could find their way back. I used to always make the kids write on the covers, please return, because these notes are so important for the class. Uh, Etc. If you have your own uh, email address or something you wanted to put it there, that would be a logical place to put it there, but I don't say that you should. However, it's logical. The one other thing I like to show is that Manu, Mano is the Latin word for hand, and scriptus comes from the Latin word, uh, uh, or is the Latin word for written. And I like to put uh, start immediately with that by showing them that words have origins. Later on, I make a pretty big deal out of etymology, so I like to put that there, and later we'll come back to that. Um, I think I'm going to keep this short because the next two videos I have planned for today, I'll have to go a little faster. Uh, so uh, uh, we'll see you again real soon today, I hope.